Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your buddy PS3 Cold Blooded. I'm here with Sam B. That was Darwin, or Darren, or some shit. I don't remember his name, but um, I'm giving you guys a little bit of uh, like a walkthrough, I guess, kind of of this mission that we're gonna do, and it's called A Ray of Hope. You'll see it right there. And when you select a mission through your quest, it will give you a tracker. And the tracker will tell you exactly where to go on the mini map that's down in your bottom right hand corner. You can see the little white line that tells you exactly where to go. Um, all these quests on this on this little in the section in the beginning zone, I don't wanna spoil anything for you guys, but um, all these quests here are pretty simple. You're probably not going to need a guide for this, but really um, I just wanted to show you guys the game so I figured well I might as well put a guide in there for uh, whoever's watching it um, and then if they're struggling with it which I doubt uh, they can use this and so um, it'll also give me an outlet to talk about the game which is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna talk about uh, the combat trees there's three of them I'm going to uh, to also talk about zombies a little bit um, and then uh, and then we'll just see what else we go through that dude was pretty upset. He broke my windshield. Or my window. Freaking a-hole. I paid a lot of money for that truck. Okay, maybe I didn't. I just kind of stole it. But you're dead now, so I feel much better. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Ray of Hope, the quest that I accepted from inside that lighthouse uh, is going to take me here to a guy. I'm going to talk to him. And then he's going to lead me somewhere else. So uh, First, I have to clear out these zombies, which you can see the skulls in the mini-map. And uh, you have to kill all those before you can accept the quest from the person that's near. And if you can tell, I have no stamina, which means I get knocked back on my behind. Uh, and the way that that stamina, like at the bottom in the middle, you'll see that stamina bar. Each swing takes away from the stamina bar. And whenever you sprint, that also takes away from the stamina bar over time, you know, like a duration type deal. Um, but uh, the quest trees, which is what I, or quest trees, the skill trees, which is what I was saying I was going to talk about. Um, there's three different ones. There's fury, which uh, pertains to a special move that each character gets. Uh, for instance, Sam B, which is who I'm playing and also my buddy Broken back there. Um, he goes into like this melee macho man Randy Savage frenzy where he just uses his fist and uh, he punches the crap out of everything and everyone that you know he swings at. And at the first level, it knocks every character down with one hit. Um, that probably doesn't work on um, the bigger guys. They're called thugs. Um, probably doesn't work on the Rams. Any kind of those special. Um, zombies that you have to fight probably doesn't work on those guys knock them down but it does on the infected the walkers um, I'm pretty sure it works on the bloated too as well and I knocked that door open first try bam skill son um, but I've opened that I need to shut that door because it's making an, uh, an alarm and zombies do not like loud noises they're like loud noises I don't like it at all but um, when I go back topside, it doesn't matter if you shut the door or not. You're still going to end up having to fight. Uh, I think four or five, four infected. I'm pretty sure it's four. You'll see two come from the woods as soon as I reach the top here. Uh, and then two more will also come. So we can hear them screaming and you're like, holy shit, I'm freaking out right now. There they are. One's chasing him, one's chasing me. Kick. Bam, son, you're down on the ground. Bash his face in, literally. Yeah, see, I bashed his face in. Um, but anyway, I'll go back to skill trees. Um, the Fury for Sam B, like I said, is the Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, for Zion, the Asian chick, I can't, I don't, I think that's how you pronounce her name. It's X I O N. Um, but anyway, she uh, goes into a mode where she just like slices and dices with a knife. Um, the Perma Girl. Um, the she uses a pistol, and the pistol um, that's who my main person is uh, is pretty good. But I don't think that her fury skill is better than anybody else's. I think everyone, I think hers is probably the worst 
out of everyone, even though she has a pistol. So you can't get as many kills um, with her as you can with the other people, from what I've noticed, anyway. Um, and then Logan goes into, like, a knife-throwing mode where he just, like, throws a shit ton of knives. Um, and then... Uh, who's the last person I'm thinking of? Logan. No. Logan's the knife-throwing guy. Perma's the gun-shooting girl. Zion is the slice and dice. Sam B is the Macho Man Randy Savage. That's all of them. That's four. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then your next tree is your combat skill, which helps you, uh, and that makes you do more damage with the classification for weapons that your person is, like my guy is for blunt weapons, um, Logan's for throwing things, uh, Perma is for guns, and Zion is for sharp objects, so it increases the damage which e with each of those respective uh, character traits. Um, and then the last one is survival, which is more of like a team based uh skill tree it like a uh, perma i know for example gives your team more damage durability all that stuff if they're within a radius of her and i think at the max it goes to 15 meters which is a pretty good distance you know most of the time when you're fighting you're going to be close to each other so um and then you get lock picking skill and stuff like that that's in the survival tree but it's completely worthless i have not I've put three points into it on my main person, um, and it's only given me something out of a locked box. Like, I've only gotten something good out of a locked box one time out of, I think I've got the trophy for it. So I'm thinking somewhere around a 100 and some times I've unlocked boxes. One time I've gotten something good. So I would have to say that that skill is absolutely worthless. Don't even waste your points All into right. it. Everything um, works. Go tell and Tarvin then here's the good news. us returning the skill stay here just to finish off a ray of hope. Now all we have to do is go to the lighthouse. But I won't show you that because we did side quest. Which is why this is makes it very hard to do a guide for. It's kind of like one of those you do story quests or you do side quests. But if you do them all together you'll get confused on which ones you did and turn it in. So, um, But anyway there's that. Uh, really I think the easiest character like I said before which I thought. And so far as true, easiest character is Sam B. Um, he does a crap ton of damage. His combat tree is really kind of overpowered. Uh, your first three skills that you can put into, um, after, like, everyone has one that they put into the first combat tree. But after that, uh, the first three increase his damage, his durability, and his stamina with blunt weapons. So it's outrageously good. But... Anyway, this has been PS3 Cold-Blooded. It's a black screen, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.